Several weeks ago, my second daughter got engaged to Leah Iyanhara. Tremendous celebration. And needless to say, while she was dating, while she was in the Parsha, I was davening for her nonstop, at least three times a day. And per the advice of Hazal, I was keeping other people in mind, family members, friends, neighbors. After my daughter got engaged, I reminded myself how important it was to continue to keep those other people in mind. Because if I stop, that'll show Luma Freya retroactively that my prayers weren't complete. Even if they seemed intense, they would have been selfish. I would have been using those other people merely as a prop to try to get my prayers answered. There's a very interesting passage in the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, Yud Ches Omer Aleph, 18a. Rav Meir says, imagine two people with the exact same illness or two people accused of the same crime. In the first instance, one patient is healed and one isn't. In the second instance, one defendant gets acquitted and one is convicted. Why the difference? Because one prayed and was answered. The other prayed and was not answered. But why did that happen? The answer, because one prayed a complete prayer and the other did not pray a complete prayer. Rashi explains that a complete prayer means one that's done with kavana. But maybe that's not the end of the story. We know that Chazal say that if you want to help make sure your prayers get answered, you want a shortcut, a magic formula, a hack, keep other people with a similar need in mind. These two va'av, we're going to come together and we're going to daven for each other, for ourselves, for our extended family and for our real extended family, the entire Jewish people, because we're all brothers, we're all sisters. But let's not make this a one shot, let's make it a beginning. After we start praying together, davening together, for each other, keeping each other in mind, let's keep it going, day in and day out, storming the heavens, asking Hashem to work overtime, to find the basher for each of our Jewish brothers and sisters who are looking for one. On Friday, August 16th, two Ba'av join over half a million Jews from across the world uniting together for Shaduchim. To find out more about this special project, please visit tubaavtogether.com. At tubaavtogether.com, you can watch many more inspirational videos, download the Tehillim to be said on Tubaav Together, and submit your names for tefillah for absolutely free. Please, share this video with friends and family, and let's make it Tubaav Together.